Hi friends. So I wanted to share with you today an unboxing as we prepare for um, our next project in the Ladies Quintessential Quintet, which is doing a green screen filming to go along with William Doherty's star charts. I haven't done this before, so I needed to purchase all new equipment. So I thought it'd be fun to share the unboxing and see what this all looks like. Let's begin. So this is box lighting. These are clamps for the actual green screen. The green screen itself. And I did this, I decided to go really large on this here, 10 feet by 20 feet. And that's to make sure that I can stand on the green screen so that if I need to, I can do an entire body shot. And this is the frame um, in which, upon which, on which the green screen will sit. So there's two large components to this, which is, of course, the actual green screen itself, and then also um, box lighting that like photographers use. And this will help us to create um, specific looks for our shots. For example, I was just reading Lori's instructions for all of our filming and it's supposed to be, it's supposed to look like nighttime. So my room's going to have to be totally pitch black and then I'll just have very directional lighting for this. So, um, I'm going to start to get this set up. I think I will definitely start with the green screen and the frame first. Okay, so, um, and I'll put links to this in the video description. I have not looked at any instructions for this. Um, obviously, these are the legs, and then this is for the top of the frame. It comes in this nice carrying case that has three sections, one for each leg and then one for the top. So that's great. And the top is labeled A, B, C, D. So again, not looking at any instructions, I'm just gonna use my super powerful brain and assume that it goes A, B, C, and D. What could possibly be wrong with that line of thinking? So here's A to B. Okay, so now I think maybe I should look at some instructions because this obviously is a little work. The two B parts go together. So now I'm thinking maybe, I can't remember the measurements of what I ordered, friends. This must be the top, so then, okay. I wasn't wrong, I just kind of lost faith. I'm gonna continue on now. And now I'm thinking um, I probably should have measured my wall first. This is where I'm gonna do it, but. Okay, now I see what's wrong. So the little uh, snaps, there are different sizes. The large one is what's going to go on the frame stand. The small one goes here, now it fits together flush. Makes a lot more sense. So this might be a bit wide for my room, but um, I think I can actually just take out one of these B sections. Okay, now this is one that I can work with. So it's nice that you have that kind of extra section if you don't need it to be super, super wide. Okay, so while this is at a height, I can reach, I'm gonna go ahead and put the green screen on it. And, it came with three clips, and then I bought uh, two packages of larger clips. Um, all the reviews and videos I watched said to more clips, the tighter the screen, the better your green screen shooting will be. So I bought lots of extra big clips. So let's see what this looks like. This is nice. One of the things I definitely noticed is I read a lot of reviews for these is that um, some of them, yes, they're very cheap, but if the fabric is too thin, then it creates issues when you do your green screen effect. So part of my other thought too um, in choosing this was that I could maybe also double it over because it's very large. But in general, as I look at this, I would say that the qual the fabric of the quality is quite nice. This is not see-through, not at all. 
no, this is really nice. Um, there is one side that is shinier and then one side that's more matte. Yeah, it's substantial. So this is great because I took out um, that extra center beam. I've got a little bit of room on either side to really help get this tight. Again, this is 10 feet. The fabric is 10 feet by 20 feet. And I easily have, I would imagine about another three feet in the frame if I wanted to get that big. I don't think that'll be necessary. Maybe if the five of us are ever together again, we could all sit in front of this, which would be very, very fun. I will also say that right now I have two sections of this fully extended. There's still a third section that could come up more. So uh, really a very large frame. I mean, I don't know if I would take this outside and probably turn it into a sail. It's not super sturdy, but I'm not like worried about it at all. It's, it seems like fine enough construction for what I'll be doing here in my home studio. So there is just, ooh. There's just a ton of fabric, so it would be really easy just to um, double over completely if you wanted to, at least in the size of my room. So um, I'm going to clip this off a little bit more, and then we'll move on to the lighting setup. Well, this is definitely preliminary. Um, everything you read or watch on setting up a good green screen is, you know, take the time to make sure you iron out or steam out. Um, any of the creases from the folds. I'll take time to do that later. I'm also going to continue to kind of tighten down the fabric itself just using the clips, but I won't take that time now because I want to move over and um, set up this lighting. And so we'll do that now. So this is the lighting system I've purchased. I have no idea if this is a reputable, reputable brand. I definitely didn't buy the cheapest. I also didn't buy the most expensive. I will say that I purchased all these components separately. So I bought the stand by itself, the fabric by itself, and then the lighting system by itself. Based on all the reviews I read and videos I watched, I just felt like I, I, I didn't want to spend a ton of money, but I also didn't want to buy junk. So I felt like the best thing I could do is just purchase each component individually. You can definitely purchase all of this together and for really, really cheap prices. Um, but I mean, I think we all have spent enough time purchasing from Amazon in the last three months that, you know, you can get yourself into a pickle if you just, just buy the cheapest thing. So, uh, this is what I purchased and, uh, it is for two, just two box lights. Now I'm not a photographer by any means. I definitely have spent a lot of time in photography studios doing headshots. Um, but I'm not a photographer. So this whole thing is like from every aspect of this is completely brand new to me. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's the actual box right here. And then this is the cover that goes over it. Um, these are with cords, so you will need a power source. You won't be running these off battery, which again, for me is fine. I'm not, I have no intentions of doing any of this outdoor. And so here's the second box. Like that. And then the cover that goes over it. So I imagine these are the bulbs. And I honestly, I don't even know if these are like special bulbs. Wow, they're really large. <laughs> uh, these are, oh, and they're, they have the company's name on them, but they just look like, it says photo, 85 watt, 110, 130 volt. So, so those are obviously gonna go in the box, which means that these are likely the stands. So again, no experience with this, just using my good, healthy brain seems pretty straightforward.
Oh, so it pops open and the this little um, circular bracket will pop down beyond the casing for, or the receiver for the light bulb. Great, makes good sense. Okay, plugged in, here's a little power box. It works. There is, I did notice, and now that I have this, I did notice that some of these um, had like dimming switches. I didn't do any of that, so I hope I'm not going to need that. Last step is to put on the fabric covering for the box light. And my basic understanding of photography, I imagine this has something to do with kind of diffusing the light a little bit, so it's not like super direct lighting. I could be totally false about that. Yeah, that's great. It's just um, Velcro, so nothing challenging there. None of this has been challenging, let's be honest. It's really gone very well. So if we turn it on now, ta-da. I will say the cord is not very long, so probably you're going to want to have some kind of extension cord or something here. It's not a long cord. So there we go. All right, so now I'll set up the other one. Okay, so I just noticed something. At the top of these stands, there was a little plastic cap on the very top, the point at which it would connect to the box. I took this little cap off, and I think that's what I should have done with the other one, because now it's much more stable. So I don't know. I guess take this cap off, maybe hold on to it in case I'm completely wrong. It's a nice carrying case, so that's easy enough to just throw it in there. So here it is, my green screen setup, two box lights, a 10 by 20 foot uh, chroma key green screen frame, and then clips. I need to still fix the attachment point between the box light and the stand on this one. And then I need to steam and also just tighten the green screen on the frame. But I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing. The quality looks fine. I don't know if it's the greatest quality in the world. I mean, it's plastic for the most part, um, but I'm not gonna be taking this outside ever. And it just needs to work well here in my little studio at home. So pretty fun. Hope you enjoy it. And most importantly, make sure you check out the Ladies Reading Society YouTube channel where you can see the fruits of our labors in several weeks. Of course, we have new videos every Saturday. We're currently working on our Bach project. Highly recommend it. Thanks so much for watching. And let me know if you have any questions or suggestions if you watch this. Thanks, friends.